little uh, out here in the uh, pot field today and uh, one of the things I'm doing is mulching so uh, this tall grass behind me in here in this row it's pretty tall is being chopped and dropped and put onto these rows so you can see I've chopped the uh, majority of this row already took the tall grass put it onto the row working my way down and you can see beyond here on this row here it's a little bit of scorched earth and so it's been allowed to be round up and bared and um, but uh, I want to just show you one of the reasons I'm mulching and putting this stuff down and why it's so important is uh, right here as I was going through and mulching this area um, this was already this is in the row and somehow this was chopped and dropped where there was a mower or something hit it and a whole bunch of grass was able to build up but if you look carefully on what's growing on this grass you see those white strands on there and what those white strands are are fungal hyphae and um, mycelium and right here is this amazing pile and you see how this um, this fungus is actually growing and it's living off and creating these huge strands of mycelium. And when you see those, you know you got really good growth. And it's growing off of this wood chips, wood that was dropped here somehow, maybe from the original bulldozing, and the grass that is feeding this system. And so what this does is this grass then goes in, or this mycelium then goes in and forms these clods of, um, of dirt and these dirt clods are highly fertile because they are wrapped in bac bacteria eats them and then fungus wraps them into these balls and they wrap them because they want to increase the amount of oxygen because fungus is an aerobic organism so it's increasing the amount of oxygen by wrapping these into balls and the fungus goes and works and dissolves this dirt which is you know essentially lava rock fresh pretty fresh lava rock because we're out here in Puna and all of this dirt down here is where it was covered by this um, by this chopped and dropped grass is um, highly mycelial. And look at that! You just see all this mycelia going nuts. And mycelia loves to eat rocks and loves those minerals. And so, by providing a shade from the sun and a little carbon resource, so they can build structure and get going, uh, it has everything it needs to to create fertility. Um, without having to put it artificially out here. So all this mycelia, that's that's the reason I'm chopping and dropping these rows is instead of scorched earth where the mycelium can't grow and, and therefore the minerals can't be dissolved and turned into water soluble, um, I'm taking and, and moving the grass onto the rows, mulching them so that this stuff can grow so it can connect to the papaya's root systems and can power up this whole system in a natural way which helps to naturally prevent disease um, and hopefully will move beyond the GMO because they won't be on this life support man-made artificial system but instead on a natural mycelium fungal trillions of microbes working together to keep this system rolling so um, so it's the reason here out here for my labor it's a little tedious um, using a sickle to manually chop this uh, it's a little hard on the back but but this is from what i know one of the simplest and easiest ways to hugely increase the fertility and it's a very important step in the transition of this orchard going from chemical uh, petrochemical dependent into a natural system that is self-sufficient and self-supporting and will support these trees for years to come and fertility for the next seven generations and nutrition for you and I today to eat this food um, so we don't have to eat those poisons anymore because these guys are actually decomposing and breaking down poisons and making the earth more fertile in a way that uh, is beneficial for all of us.